On Monday, we reported on a local big cat sanctuary's concerns with a federal bill in the House of Representatives this week, the Big Cat Public Safety Act. Bear Creek Feline Center directors Jim and Bertie Broadus say while they think the act is important to stop the exploitation and abuse of captive big cats in the U.S., they are concerned with the bill prohibiting volunteers direct contact with those cats for feedings and habitat cleaning. In response to the concerns, a national organization, the Big Cat Sanctuary Alliance, says they believe it's best to limit direct contact for the safety of both the cats and humans. Alliance program manager Kathy Blachowski says volunteers at member sanctuaries have no direct contact with the cats, but it doesn't mean there's no contact at all, allowing for feedings with tongs or cat holding areas as well as visual enrichment for the animals. We still think it will be allowed um, as far as everything we need to do to make them have the best life in captivity that they can have, um, while hopefully addressing some of the issues that cause the, these big cats to be need to be rescued in the first place. Blachowski says she agrees with the Broadduses on many of their points, but hopes the bill passes as is. She says the vote in the House has been postponed until tomorrow, December 3rd.